What influenced your uh, move into politics? Was it when you were on radio, you know, talking to people and now getting closer to the real issues on the ground? I mean, I've always been interested in creating value wherever I am, in yeah. a small group or in a uh, church group or at home, wherever. Let's do more than we are doing now. Let's demand more mm -hmm. of ourselves. Let's, let's build it higher. I suspect it came out through my work on radio a bit. Uh, my family has also traditionally been very supportive of the MPP, been very strong in the mm. MPP, in the Ofoasan Ayubi constituency. Yeah. Indeed, when the constituency was first demarcated, I think somewhere in 2004 or so, yeah. my father was one of those they approached and requested to run for MP, because oh, he was okay. a banker at okay. the time mm. at Barclays, but he was not able to do it. So later I became a patron, myself, my brother, you know, a few other people were patrons of the party. So you pay money. When, when was that? This was while I was a broadcast journalist. There was mm. no reason for which that would even affect or influence. Yeah. Oh, so um, you, are, you are doing NPP stuff while you are doing the I mean, but, show. but there are people in this your station who are doing... I, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm telling you. you are saying. I'm <laughs> telling you. Okay, I'm telling you. Know there are them. people in this your station who are doing NDC <laughs> stuff and who are doing NPP hey, stuff. Right? You know them? Hey. Of course. You don't want me to mention oh, you, their you names. You guys have been meeting. Eh? Don't push me. <laughs> you guys have been meeting. Don't cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, you support behind the scenes, but you do your work. Yeah. And then by 2016, our member of parliament who had done three terms, the Honorable David Oponkusi, was mm -hmm. bowing out. Yeah. And we needed a replacement. So we all keep talking about the fact that you need somebody who can bring more attention to the constituency, somebody who's young, who's da 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 da, etc. So mm. one Sunday afternoon, I was here in a crowd when about three of our executives came. I said, I want to have a chat with you. Mm -hmm. So what's up? Yeah, like, you know the thing we've been talking about? Yeah. Like, Alaji Grunsa says, and you'll be an Ekika, and you will be So I'm like, eh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just finishing law school, mm. you know, becoming a lawyer, also tinkering with my private business, etc. So that's my focus. But they were persuasive. So I spent some time also talking to um, Dr. Otabel, who is um, one of my, you know, godfathers, mm. my wife, the family, and a few senior persons, the current president, etc. And I decided to give it a shot. Mm. And today here I am. Wow. The wife was okay with you going into politics? Well, she wasn't very excited in the beginning. She mm. was like, you know, you left radio and we're all sure we're going to have you at home to ourselves. Yeah. Now you're going into this thing and it's probably going to get worse. So she was always like, I don't like this idea, but I'll support whatever you mm. do. And she's been very supportive, awesome. um, you know, so far. But how challenging is it for her? Uh, I think when your husband is... 95% of the time not available at home mm -hmm. and you literally have to be uh, on phone with him mm -hmm. for anything you, you know and all he does is to provide what he has to provide but in mm. terms of quality family time yeah. you don't mm. get a lot of it I'm not sure it's too easy on mm. the family my kids complain um, quite often mm -hmm. sometimes I say I think they are expressing what she has been saying when I'm not around <laughs> but in the little time that we mm. get we do our best yeah but mm. how much of a toll does that have on you as a person a lot because I work first in the constituency as mm. a member of parliament and no matter what you do if you're a member of parliament you can be minister for what and you can do what in the chamber mm. of parliament if you don't attend to the constituency, they'll kick you don't you out. come for the yeah. funerals and the they will kick you out. Naming ceremonies. Are, you That's have true. to understand it's part of the work. Mm. No two ways about it. Mm. So you have to do that, and then you have to do chamber work. Mm -hmm. I serve on the finance committee in parliament, at least okay. in the seventh parliament. About sixty percent of all the business that comes through the house is finance, finance related yeah. transactions, loans, mm. etc. So you're also very busy on the floor, and then the president mm. also assigned me um, a very boisterous role, yeah, which yeah. is uh, to be re uh, the minister responsible for information, information, which requires you to literally mm. be in everybody's business, know what's going on here, there, and unsigned interface with media houses. Mm. So you put all of that together, and then you have your health, your social life, your spiritual life, you put yeah. it all together, yeah. it will have a toll on you, but mm. you try to balance as much as you can.